I, I think what has what we've seen in this documentary is a ma actually a massive own goal on the part of the Sussexes. I think the royal family aren't able to actually put, the, you know, they they can't reasonably put forward their side of what has happened. Um, and even well, they could. even they could, they could, but the tragic thing is Harry knows that they won't, that they they can't, that William's not going to put his side of the story. He's blaming the media, he's blaming the institution, but then he's also blaming his, his, his brother through the media who mm. can't um, answer back. But isn't Harry doing just the thing that he said was done to him? Femi. So yeah, uh, the idea that the royal family is this helpless um, creature that doesn't defend itself and won't go out and set the record straight. I mean, the whole point of the documentary is they did set the record straight when they when they when there was the issue about one of the tabloid stories about how William bullied Harry out of the royal, royal family. They put out a joint statement even though Harry hadn't signed it. And um, when when you, when you mm -hmm. after the Oprah interview, um, you saw Pr Prince William saying that the royal family is definitely not a racist family. They go out on record to defend themselves all the time. The whole point that Harry was making was that they didn't defend defend Meghan and, the, and what you learn from this documentary is a good example of the real world consequences of when the media is extremely aggressive and in several cases racist. Because we saw what happened when they were introducing Meghan with her straight out of Compton, even though she's not from Compton, just a blatant race, ra racial jab. We saw the, dis the unfair treatment of Meghan when it came to oh, praising Kate for eating avocados, whereas when Meghan ate avocados, she was implicated in drought and murder because of how they're made. It's a completely unfair thing, and the consequences of it were people were sending death threats to her. She was, in, in, that, in that documentary, crying because she didn't know if her children would be safe. There were real world consequences mm. to that. So, in terms of the the brothers fighting, yes, that's so that's something that doesn't have that much public interest. The issue is, they sh it, Harry is right to speak out about this because on Netflix, I think for I, money, I I think it's right, he's right to speak out about it because people. But, but uh, in this way, because he essentially he's the biggest people. The, Harry and Meghan are the ones currently defending the royal family right now because they're the ones who are actually trying to make the royal family better. Because uh, the new generations, especially Gen Z, want the royal family, want, want the monarchy to be an anti-racist institution. And they're the ones mm -hmm. actually going out and saying, it must be. Uh, 